Dear viewers, we are back discussing the, the, the COVID-19 uh, wave. We are in the third wave. The Delta variant wave is very, very destructive. The most important message I have for you is don't depend on hospital beds, on ventilators, on oxygen concentrators, on oxygen machines. Depend on yourself. Responsible behavior is going to help us reduce the number of people getting sick in this country and it's going to help us reduce the number of the, the number of days that the wave lasts in our country. It will reduce spread and it's simple precautions we have to take. Make sure we mask ourselves. Make sure we avoid going out too much. Go out once a week, buy everything that you have to buy. You don't have to stop living. But don't go out to the malls or places where there's aggregation of people too often. Also, when you go out, make sure you have the distancing. Everyone has to have the responsibility of checking there's no one in front of them, behind them, on the side of them. When you're waiting in the queues to pay, be careful in the queues. When you take all your purchases and you come into the car, don't take off your face mask without sanitizing your hands first. Always have a sanitizer bottle in the car to sanitize your hands first because you could have picked up infection with your fingers and you touch your face, everybody's going to scratch their nose or scratch their face once they take off their mask. So please don't take off your mask until you sanitize your hands in, in, in the car. Try to avoid visits to families right now. It's a short period. We can spread the infection. Unfortunately, in this wave, a lot of people don't have loss of smell, loss of taste, fever, headache. So you could be walking around as a time bomb, being asymptomatic and passing the infection on. Don't go out under the influence, whether it's alcohol, whether it's hard drugs, or whether you're taking medication that affects your, your mental state. Please don't go out then. You have to be fully conscious to be aware, to be mindful before you go out in COVID-19. It won't harm right now to cancel all birthday parties, baby showers, wedding showers, and even weddings. Even though it says limitation is to 50 people, the virus affects you whether you're five or 50 people. The spread is, is very, very fast. The other important thing is to have good ventilation in your car, your homes, your offices. If you're feeling uh, cooped up in your house, go out, but go out to areas where there's good ventilation. A park, the beach, a nature reserve. If there's no people around, you can take your mask off and inhale. So you can go out. The most important thing is to avoid contact with other people, very close contact. The virus spreads from person to person. If there's no contact, the virus can't spread, it can't mutate, the wave becomes shorter, the people survive and we can get, go back to normal life much faster. We're fortunate right now, it's only in Gauteng in a big numbers of, of infection. The other provinces are not so badly hit. We can protect ourselves, we can prevent spread, if we take simple precautions. So avoid going out to families, avoid all the other functions, it's very temporary. And if I adhere to these rules, the other important thing is make sure you don't self-medicate with steroids. A lot of people think, ah, it's, I, I'm a little sick, let's take steroids. You can actually harm yourself. You can get critically ill. Steroids given in the wrong phase can aggravate the virus. It can spread to your lungs. Only doctors, healthcare workers should prescribe medication for you. Those of you who want to take your lemon and your ginger and your honey, you're welcome to do that. It's not a cure. It's not a protection. It's not a safeguard. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel good in the body. Nothing protects you against getting infection. Even those that are vaccinated can get infected. Please remember that. Vaccination does not mean you must be reckless and, be, you know, and not take any care. You have to take every precaution like those who are non-vaccinated because you can spread the infection. Vaccinated people can get infected. So teachers and everybody else who's taken it over 60 and those over 50 are going to take it now, please be careful that you can get sick and you can spread it. So the biggest safeguard is the precaution, the mask, the sanitizing, the social distancing, cutting out co contact with family people, parties, functions, going to the mall, limited time, good ventilation. Ventilation is absolutely critical. Being in office, being in healthcare, being in hospitals, being in medical centers, the doctors, healthcare workers, ventilation is absolutely critical. If we do that, hopefully this wave will pass us very soon and will be, be confined in a large extent to Gauteng and hopefully we'll be able to deal with it there and spread will not be to a large extent to the rest of the country. It can be done. It requires our persistence, our support, and our responsible behavior. <laughs>